After the completion of Dressrosa, the One Piece fandom was facing two major questions, especially after seeing the insane reveal of Luffy's gear for Bound Man and the incredible awakening or rather the dangerous awakening of Doflamingo. The next question in everyone's mind was that what is going to be gear 5 for Luffy and eventually what is going to be the awakening for Luffy? There were multiple theories going on in this particular regard, multiple different discussions, fan theories, suggestions, fan arts and and everything of that sort. And the general consensus among the fandom was that Luffy is going to most probably unlock gear 5 here in Wano or at the end of Wano and eventually he'll go on to unlock his awakening, his true devil fruit awakening at Marijoa. Or maybe another group of people just thought that this is going to be the reverse case. wherein Luffy is going to unlock his awakening on Wano and he's going to unlock his eventual gear 5th form on Marijoa but Oda has just swept all of those theories under the rug in just one singular chapter and that is chapter 1044 so we need to talk about this so hello and welcome to NYC and today we're going to talk about Luffy's gear 5 awakening But before that if you're new here then please consider subscribing to the channel since I do weekly anime and manga related content along with a bunch of other stuff. With that being said, let's just quickly jump into the video. Now the ending of chapter 1043 specifically made it look like Luffy is going to gain an awakening which is sort of going to be along the lines of vulcanization and we didn't exactly knew if this was gear 5 or simply awakening. But in chapter 1044 Luffy essentially confirms that he's going to call this particular mode he's going to call this particular power up gear 5. Yes, Luffy himself is calling this mode as gear 5, so we have to assume that yes, this is only gear 5. I mean, I'm not saying that this is the final power up. I'm pretty sure like I'm a 100% sure that at Marijoa we are going to get yet another power up, maybe a more advanced version of this particular form that we are currently seeing and there are a couple of different examples a couple of different visual cues as to why this might happen the first one being luffy straw hat the second one being the staff and i'm going to talk about all of these things in much more detail because this i feel like it's going to include sabo into the picture as well so stay tuned for that particular video subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification to stay up to date whenever i upload that video but moving on here we get the confirmation from goro say that this fruit is not actually called gomu gomu no mi the true name of this fruit the true name of luffy's devil fruit is indeed hito hito no mi mythical model nika which is named after the ancient almost legendary figure called the sun god nika now in my previous videos i've already established the connection between the sun god nika or rather nika along with rubber because a major question in the fandom was that okay if this is a zoan type devil fruit if this is a fruit which is based on the sun god nika then why is he even having rubber based powers in the very first place and i feel like the answer to that is given in my particular video links are in the description below and it can also be found on the i button above but on a very quick note i can just say here that nika is very likely a reference to the banyan tree the rubber banyan tree because in maldives in the maldives region this tree is actually called nika in the local language So it's very likely that Oda got the inspiration from this particular concept. But moving forward here, this form, this Gear Five Awakening form, I'm going to call this Gear Five Awakening because just calling it Gear Five sounds kind of awkward. But yeah, this form is actually very unique because Luffy's head looks a lot like Sun Wukong right now. He's also having those curly eyebrows similar to Sanji, and he has very flowy hair. and here we also have to keep in mind that luffy's straw hat has essentially melted right now and it has been combined with his body somehow we don't exactly know the mechanics behind all of these things right now but it definitely feels like some form of vulcanization of the rubber is very much associated here it's not stated outright here but it definitely feels like some form of vulcanization of the rubber or mobility of the rubber is involved here because the gorose literally says that the awakening is going to give much more strength and much more freedom to the rubber powers of this fruit and that's basically what's happening here at this particular moment because luffy is able to do moves he was not really able to do prior because in this particular mode he's essentially able to tap into all of his prior modes 
and that is most evident here with almost the powers of zombie Luffy all the way back from Thriller Bark. When we get to see here that Luffy essentially uses the large arms of Gear 5 to basically yoink Kaido on the top of the roof and he's just punching him around in a cartoonish fashion. That's it, that's pretty much it. The eyes are also a very important factor here because it's reminding everyone of Mihawk and even Emu-sama in general. What's going to be the plot line for that? I'm not really 100% sure myself, but basically this awakening here is really, really different from all the fan theories which we have had for such a long time. The major fan theory in this particular regard involved the full body Haki, something similar to Virgo and essentially it was that Luffy might gain a new power up in the form of Haki, wherein his Haki is going to control his Devil Fruit to a much greater extent and he might get a full body Haki cover or something like that. But that's not exactly happening here. This is a much more free flowing form. He's not rigid, he's not stiff. His already rubbery body has got much more flexibility right now. And he's having those, I don't know what to call it, but air pockets or cloud pockets, which is something similar to the gear four forms. And he's essentially looking like a split copy of the sun god Nika here, minus the staff. Now that staff, it's probably going to be something very important for the finale of Marijua. Again, I'm going to talk about that in a separate video. But for now, this is Gear 5. This is Luffy's Gear 5 Awakening. This is an amalgamation of both his new gear form as well as his awakening. And he is just maniacally laughing right now. It has something definitely to do with the sun god Nika and the exact power set of this particular ancient being. And he's definitely ready and fired up to put down Kaido once and for all. Also, as a matter of fact, just like we had assumed, this awakening can definitely affect the surrounding areas as well because Luffy is able to control the ground, he's able to pull up the ground and do whatever he pleases actually here at this particular moment. This is almost giving Luffy cartoonish level of strength and this is going to make him very, very, very OP. This is definitely a different kind of a form. I and pretty much anyone was not really expecting to see something like this, but I'm just glad that we are done with the lame theories of Luffy getting possessed by Joy Boy, and we're just done with that. But for now, this is it for this quick video, guys. This is Luffy's Gear 5 Awakening. What do you guys feel about this particular form? Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more. This is WonderYZ and I'll see you all in the next one. In the meantime, be sure to join the channel membership for some very cool perks and features and join the Discord server for more. See you all on the next video.